Hello everyone, Meat Phone here, as right now, this is where it comes down to the win or go home for each team's do or die of the Jets against the Minnesota Wilds. This part of the next game is a happening to do every team. As we look back into the first period of the of each game, first half of the game series, right now as the Jets already got onto a strong start with a free game winning streak in the series with a 3-0 over the Wilds. And then it all came back with 4-5-6 and six as the Wilds had made their possession to try to spell, spoil them out. As you may already have noticed, this was the toughest matchup that everyone was seeing. The wildcard team might be looking for another win to upset the Wilds. If they don't make the win, and Wilds win, they are eliminated. So, we haven't seen the Wilds making the first round to win, but they wanted to play in a second round to win it to play against the other team of the Colorado Avalanche. And now, for this time, we are about to be sending you down to Jay Sabolski and Greg Ferraro. I'll be back with the post-game show after this. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your last game of the of day number one of the Game 7 Stanley Cup playoffs before we stick here tomorrow as the Knights play against the Kraken at T-Mobile Arena and the Oilers and Kings back at Crypto.com Arena. And as being said, see you all later after the final buzz feeder. Still have a lot of time right now, but we'll get that one switched up after this play. over the net. Be right over there. Now for the play resumes. It will be no score in this game. Transition. 
ground game. They put the puck into the offensive end. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Barrett. Winnipeg goal. That's his, his seventh goal in the playoffs. Scored by number 81, Kyle Connor. His first uh, assist here in the playoff game was up in by uh, number 28, Zach Wheeler. Blake Wheeler. And by number 55, Dan Osendo. Time to goal, 7.23 remaining in the first period of the game. Five shots on goal for the, for the Minnesota Wilds. And 17 and 12 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets. With Kyle Connor score. Seven. Goal. 12, 1234 in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Quick hands, not only does he get a glove on it, 
He catches it, which is hard to do. On this poked away the offensive zone by Caprizov. Lines into the offensive zone. The Wild has gained possession off the wall. Moves it quickly over to Wheeler. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. Gustafson's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up and kills the play. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. The Jets take possession off the faceoff. Takes the shot. Gustafson's gonna bounce on it and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Winnipeg's won the draw, no go to work. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the ball on it. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. They're still getting it done. And they still have a one nothing lead for the Winnipeg Jets. They've got to get this one done. Harrison X won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Hangs onto the puck. Takes a shot, and that one's turned away. Not many times you get a clean look in the shot, so the goalies are always looking around the screen, trying to find it to make the save. Minnesota's looking to break out. And now he moves it to Eric Sand. Off the wall and right to the stick. Nice play. And it's a quick pass to Connor. Nice save from point blank range. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. The Jets take possession of the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Stays with it. Puck grab by Sundfist. Inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, fantastic stop here. Hellebuck's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Jets lead it 1-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Moves it on over to DeMello. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Lowry. The Jets move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's the chance.
Last minute of the play in the first period. There's still much time left to go. First period's almost over. 1 0 Winnipeg. Everybody, me phone here. As right now, I have a quick reminder for all of you all. It's because we have another one to take that one, a special part of the, of the event that's happening here right towards us. That's right. We are here to present to you for one of our greatest moments of all the time that we are about to be releasing the new episode of The Deals. It's returning right now at this moment because we are doing another part of it as we will be returning here on May 25th. That will be happening here at the end of the month, right towards here, while the NBA playoffs still in possession. This part of the game will not be the only way that we can ever, ever thank for. As of right at this moment, it took very long and expected, but thank you for your patience right now. The new episode will be underway very soon. We're all following along. That's right now, Luigi Guy, along with the other crews, are back. It's the newer episode, number 24. This is where we left it off before. For this part of the episode. And right now, as we've seen on the other hand of the TV here, as right now we still have tickets left here for the BFDI and Anime Sandy Media. Not this time, it's the experience that's happening here just the right around the corner here. We're just only a few months away. Here from today from this month to next month. That'll be happening here just right on June 25th, on Sunday, and Saturday, July 20, July 8th. That's at Gerald W. Lynch Theater. So get your tickets now here. We only got 2 p.m. show left in Gerald Lynch W. Theater for screening only. And we have a bunch of tickets left here to save the media center. So get yours now at, at any at inanimesandy.com slash tickets. You can be the next one here. And if you got one, enjoy the show. Last but not least, while the new season is approaching, now it's your time, now it's your turn to make a selection for the next matchup of the NHL of 24. Now casting for each team to pick up a, a matchup play for NHL 24 in Season 3. That's right, you can cast your votes here to choose or make a decision to comment your box down below to see which teams are playing against each other. From home and away team, Canadian teams, or the USA teams, or in between the Canadian versus the USA team. Doesn't have to be which one it is, but you can definitely make your selections here. And that will be the next one to keep your eyes on to make their way right towards the line. And make sure to keep your cast in the votes at the same time, because after the new approachment of the new season, it will be locked in momentarily for just a lot of months. You still have a lot of time to think who you want to see them play against. As right now, leave your comment box here below. That's NHL 24 cast selection of your team matchups. And if you're on the media, the story will be on here as he will make some questions here and you can make your answers. And don't forget to follow him on social media. All right, let's get back into the game. The announcement is finished. Back to you, Jay. almost 
every puck. They started sluggishly, like they didn't have their way. Sometimes that happens. Now they got to find a way to get back in the game, game and it's got to start now. Takes the feed. Saved me by the goalie. The Jets have it now. Handles the puck. Through center along the wing. Broken up with a stick. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Minnesota's got the puck. Hartman's carrying it ahead. Pace and Andre still got the puck. The puck on the line. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. And that bounce off a stick. A chance! <laughs> by number 97, Kirill Kapasov, and by number 25, Daryl Erickson Eck. Time on the goal, 2.18 remaining in the second period of the game. Seven, eight, seven shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds and Ifelop, and 14 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets. With Matthew Foldy, scored really Smith, with 17.43 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here's a 
short pass to Carter. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Down the right wing into the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Sends the pass over. Winnipeg goal, his eighth goal in the playoffs, scored by number 81, Kyle Connor. His first assist here by number 28, Blake Wheeler, and by number 25, Lyons Tobias. Top of the goal, 8.32 remaining in the second period of the game. 14 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets and 9 shots on goal for Minnesota Wilds. With the Kyle Connor's goal, the 10, we have 11.02 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here in the later stages. 
seconds of this period. Winnipeg's got a split lead. They lead it 2-1. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Puts it on the end. Let's see. Gustafson's going to smother him to get a whistle. To get dangerous and throw it in control of the puck. Both teams ready here for the faceoff. Dubois won the draw. Cuts to the front. Last minute remaining in the second period. And now it's grabbed by Dumba. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Foligno's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And gets a piece of it with the trapper. How about to have many moments to Here by number 24, Michael Dumba. Dominic goal, 1931, remaining in the second period of the game. 12 shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds, and 18 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets. Matthew Marcus Maligno, in 43 seconds in the, in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Middle 
Chase got it into the post and in. Keeps the hole with the puck. Hartman's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. With possession along the wall. Here comes the call from the Do it in Winnipeg for slashing. It's the Royals power play! Minnesota's bad advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to do. Two minute penalty for slashing on Blake Wheeler. Two we'll time minute penalty, 18 25 remaining in a third period of the game. The Wilds have taken possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Cook Rizov. And he takes the pass. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. He really had to dig in there. I don't think he got a good look, James, but he's in good position. And Minnesota the penalty, two minutes for holding. Two minute penalty for, for Minnesota Wilds. Oh, it's Matthew Boldy for holding. Tom and Bell, 17-33 remaining in the third period of the game. Still got a lot of time right now. 15 14 to go in the third. Still tied. Winnipeg's won the pace off. This is just up and over. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Slides it back to the middle. That's wide of the net. He misses by a large margin right in the middle of the ice. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Tries to get the puck over to Spurgeon. Along the way up the neutral zone. Goes into the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Shankly's running off the faceoff. Moves the puck across to Ehlers. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, tremendous athletic reflexes there with the toe stop. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Snaps it on net, denies it in front. Sharp reaction save. Here they 
Winnipeg goal, his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 36, Morgan Brogan. Time of the goal, 9 minutes in the third period of the game. 22 shots on goal for the, for the Winnipeg Jets, and 18 shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds. But Morgan Brogan scored his third period in the third period of 11 minutes in the Stanley Cup playoffs. First assist here by number 25, Jacob Erickson Eck, and by number 20, Matthew Boldy. Time of the goal, 12.06 remaining in the third period of the game. Nine, eight, 20 shots on goal for the Minnesota Wilds, and 24 shots on goal for Winnipeg Jets, where Jacob Jubas scored with 7.09 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Here's the shot! Gives up nothing in front! What 
great club save by the goaltender here. He's got to get up, stay up long enough to keep the club high, and make a remarkable club save. Here in the back half of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Puck scooped up by Dylan. The Jets have it now. Drops it in. The Wilds have gained control of the puck along the wall. Three center. Taken by Caprizov. Winnipeg's got a hold of it along the wall. Puck dumped in. Minnesota's got control of it now from the right end. The Wilds have taken control of the puck. Caprizov's across the line now. Last minute remaining in a third period. What you're waiting for. It is about that time for the second overtime, the doubleheader of this game after the Hurricanes and the Islanders. Now, 
the Jets and the Wilds are ready to do this again. It's a do or die. That's the second time we're about to be seen here for tonight in game number seven. As of right now, you have never seen how well they do, in, in fact, to be on the other change of a lookout run. They are tough, but you can never go wrong what team had could have done better on the release pit. And because of this one point, we never heard of it, of how this was turned out to be, the overtime of this game. We've never seen anybody making it to the second round. In between the Winnipeg Jets and the Minnesota Wilds, these two, can, these two guys have definitely already on the fan breakaway, and they've done a lot of a hard muscling routine to pick up the deck. And this moment, this really keeps on happening with one of the, uh, one of the biggest toughest in the game. And you know, this mistake has turned out to be Hellebuck's when he couldn't try to make a save because his, his knee went wide open. The knee pads went open and he didn't have the right timing. It was too late and it didn't really uh, prove it to be the right successful one. As of right now, if you're tuning in for tomorrow's game, we've got the Knights and the Kraken at the T-Mobile Arena. Standing by, I will have the, the next commentator up, OJ, along with the along with the Evercast McCruz, uh, along with Paintbrush, and your center ice is Test Tube. And I will be here for the next game for the Kings and Oilers at Crypto.com Arena. I will be here with my broadcast partner here along with Fan, and the center ice is Lightball. That will be the next one here coming in for tomorrow night's game of the presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Win or done. And then, if you're sticking around with the NBA Playoffs, we've got the Cavaliers and the Milwaukee Bucks at Pfizer.fora. Along with the other team of Denver Nuggets, Mile High, and the and the Clippers on the other way. So I guess that's it for now. If you're tuning in with us here, we'll see you tomorrow night for the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs and along with the NRW game that will be coming up here very soon on the NBA playoffs. Now, time for overtime. Jay, Greg, let's do this.
Time in the goal, 18 42 remaining in overtime of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Well, thank you so much for the Wilds fan. They are moving on to the second round to face against the Colorado Ass and Mile High. That will be their next game happening here on the Stanley Cup playoffs. Congrats to Kirill Kaprizov for the shot right around Hullabuck. The Canadian team is out. And that was your winner, and take it all to the next round. Well, this has been an exciting matchup. Since we've never seen the Wilds making it to the second round after last season with the loss against the St. Louis Blues. That was the last part of a game that we have not seen it before. And you know, this wasn't the only way that they were ever seeing it in the regular season. But how in that case... And against the other team, the Dallas Stars, they never really caught things on right ahead. But this is what's ever happened before. You never get caught wrong so easily. As for at this point, when the Wild team gets things done, it's going to be bored to be on the, on the Wildwood, Minnesota Valley. It's going to be very not tough to say that the Minnesota Wilds have never made it that far since many years ago back then, <laughs> but it's a great way to say they've done the best. Alright, time for the three star players of the game as we currently reset and do the next ones as we can. Let's have your three star players of the game. The third star goes to Kirill Kaprizov, your overtime winner. And with the one assist, they made a win to take it all. The second star goes to Matthew Boldy. One goal, assist, and two hits. Put out on a rebound and they put it right around the goaltender. That's where it comes in. And your first star goes to Philip Gustafsson. 57 saves. Well done for Gustafsson. Better than Marc-Andre Fleury because he's a secondary goaltender. Well, as you're being said right now, me phone is finished for tonight's game. Thank you for joining with us for the first day of the Game 7, two game in the doubleheader series. We will have the next doubleheader coming tomorrow, as right now the first game for tonight will be the tough teams, the Kraken and the Knights, and T-Mobile Arena. And along with the other one, we have is the Oilers and the Kings at Crypto.com Arena. It's in between the state by state. We never know what's going to happen now, because this one's going to be a happening to be in between the range of the site. Well, here's how the final standings are turned out. Very great job from the Winnipeg and Minnesota on a close passing call, 91-90. No power play goals for the Minnesota and Winnipeg. Then it was a two-minute penalty kill, Winnipeg and Minnesota. 21-16 hits. Very good one as take taken from ability out of the range. And then 703 wild wild attack for the Jets and 609 for the Minnesota Wilds. Thanks for joining with us, and I hope you all appreciate your next part of a game of the NBA playoffs. As you're about to see, the game seven of the Knicks and the Cavaliers at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. I'll see you guys later if you're on the other side. For those of you if you are tuning in for this game, right now at this moment, if you already watched that point, we'll get you right underway. That will be happening at 7 p.m. tonight as we get this thing right towards here with the Knicks and Cavaliers. Follow well, along back to the hockey and then back to basketball. We got a little double headers in between right now so keep your eyes peeled. Anyway it's time to get off and enjoy our night. Thanks for joining with us. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Thank you and good night to the wild fang of the Minnesota Wilds and the and the disappointment of the Winnipeg Jets until next season if you don't if you don't somebody will